Hey, Ron Teo here. Today I'm reviewing this dual protocol M.2 SSD enclosure from Oracle. First of all, a disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by Oracle. However, all the opinions in this video are mine. I will just present to you my findings and you can decide whether or not this is worth the money. And here in Singapore, this is priced at 40 to 50 Singapore dollars and it's available on Shopee and Lazada. Let me give you the bottom line up front. This is a beautiful enclosure with excellent build quality and good heat dissipation. With the Windows laptop that I have, I managed to get transfer speeds up to 1050 megabytes per second, read and write. The pricing to me is reasonable and very competitive compared to other brands. So this enclosure is available in three colors. There is rose gold, silver, and gray. Mine is probably the gray version. The model number is FV35C3-G2. That's the dimension. The enclosure is made with aluminum alloy. And the input supported is the M key and the B and M key. The B key is not supported. The output is USB Type-C with transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second, which is about 1.25 gigabytes per second. And these are the compatible SSDs you can use. These are the items included in the box. There is the enclosure, a small screwdriver for removing the screw on the enclosure, two rubber stoppers to hold down the SSD, this metal plate to hold down the SSD and the thermal pad, and this USB-C to USB-C cable with a USB Type-A adapter and the transfer speed is limited to 10 gigabits per second. This is a good looking enclosure with solid build quality. There are many fins on the top and on the sides for heat dissipation. And the back is just flat. There are no fins here. Let's unscrew this and take a look inside. So you can remove the back plate very easily. This is how it looks inside. This enclosure is just slightly wider than the MVME SSD. So this is a very small enclosure. There's actually a list of SSDs recommended and not recommended by the company. I happen to have one that is recommended. This is the Western Digital SN750. I also have an SSD that is not recommended, the Samsung Evo 970 Plus. That SSD is 50 megabytes per second, slower compared to the Western Digital SN750. I'm not sure what's the criteria they use for the recommended or not recommended SSDs though. So this rubber stopper is supposed to come here and I can push this down and now I can place the thermal pad on the SSD and this metal plate here to hold the thermal pad and put the plate back and now I can secure the screw and the back plate and now let me show you the transfer speed. There's no difference between the USB-C and the USB Type-A connector. There is an activity light indicator in front. One of the main selling points for this enclosure is this design for the fins and it's set to lower temperatures by 5 to 15 degrees compared to competing brands. And I've tested this for more than half an hour and it's very hot but there wasn't any heat throttling, so this design seems to be quite effective. These are the transfer speeds I measured. I've tested the enclosure with this Windows laptop, the LG Gram 2022, and also with the M1 MacBook Air, and with the recommended and not recommended SSDs. So the green bars are the read speeds, the black bars are the write speeds. Transfer speeds on the Windows laptop is noticeably faster compared to the Mac. It's about 30% faster. So I was able to get about 1050 megabytes per second read and write speeds regardless of the SSD. And on the M1 MacBook Air, I was only able to get about 800 plus megabytes per second. From what I can see, the transfer speed is limited by the enclosure, the cable, 
and also in this case the OS. This enclosure is certainly fast enough for video editing and let's have a look at this Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. So it seems like the format you can reach is 8K DCI 24. The advertised speed for this enclosure is 10 gigabits per second, which is about 1,250 megabytes per second. And I wasn't able to get that, but I could get in the best case scenario, 1,050 megabytes per second read and write speed. So that to me is pretty good. If you need even faster transfer speeds, Oracle has other products with faster transfer speeds, such as this USB 4 enclosure that I have reviewed recently. This is faster, yes, but this is also more expensive. This is about three times more expensive compared to this. So depending on your workflow, you may or may not need that kind of speed. So if you don't need that kind of speed, you can go with the much cheaper and more affordable um, enclosure. Purchase links are in the video description below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is useful. See you guys in the next video. Bye.